Well, it's a Thursday tradition right here on Wake Up Today, answering your medical questions and concerns. Here to do just that, Dr. Kalani Brady from the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, Christine. Nice haircut. Thank you. Thanks for being here. We got a lot of questions today. The first one How much tonic water can a person drink for cramps? How often? Cramps occur all over the body, Christine, so I don't know what area we're talking about. Mm -hmm. However, a good amount of water is uh, wise to drink for everyone unless you have kidney failure. In those patients, we have to limit the water intake, the fluid intake. But otherwise, uh, four to six cups a day is a good amount. Okay. Can a lower abdom abdominal hernia cure itself? Is surgery required? A hernia is a hole in the abdominal wall, Christine. It won't cure itself, but as the hernia grows, or if uh, you valsalva, if you tense your belly, you can actually extrude bowel through the hole in the wall of the uh, abdomen. Mm -hmm. And that's very dangerous. That's mm. called incarceration. So I wouldn't wait until that occurs because that's a surgical emergency. Uh, a hernia that's simple is easy to fix mm -hmm. and it's good to get it done as soon as possible. Okay. Is it all right to eat pineapple when you're taking cholesterol pills? Yes. It's not all right to eat grapefruit, jabong, and other grapefruit products mm -hmm. because there's an enzyme in the grapefruit, but it's not the acid. So okay. oranges are fine, mangoes are fine, pineapple is all fine. Just the grapefruit? The grapefruit okay. is not fine. My husband has terrible dandruff. How do you get rid of it? Uh, a lot of people use head and shoulders. It's very common. And some people use it every day. Uh, and it helps with that. Tar shampoos are more powerful. Uh, they don't smell as nice. And you can use tar shampoo to get rid of dandruff as well. If it really is bad, seborrheic dermatitis, then you can see your regular doctor and they will prescribe something more powerful yet. But over-the-counter can help. Over-the-counter okay. helps me just fine. Okay. What can I use to remove tags? I'm guessing skin tags. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, generally, tags can be removed by liquid nitrogen. The only people that have liquid nitrogen generally in their offices are dermatologists. Mm -hmm. Some family practitioners have it. But the problem is that uh, liquid nitrogen uh, evaporates. And so therefore, if you have liquid nitrogen and you treat one or two people a month, it's gone and it's a poor investment in liquid nitrogen. So dermatology is generally where you go to remove skin tags. And the process is relatively easy. Very easy mm -hmm. and very safe. Okay. And says, I am two years out from breast cancer treatment and should I get an MRR, MRI of the breast? Someone who has had breast cancer and has been treated has a whole team of specialists to make advice for them as to what to do. And I would follow that advice, not TV advice over the uh, uh, television, no matter how good KHON is. Oh, no matter how good Dr. Brady is, you're saying, <laughs> right? And you're so good. We're going to hear from you again in about 20 minutes. We'll be right? here. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Brady.